Hi again. I've set up another example here where we're definitely going to need our calculator. Uh, I've come up with this equation that's supposed to model the price of gold t days after January 1st. Unfortunately, I originally put x's in there, so I've tried to use darker ink to make it look like t. I hope that's not confusing. So t is the number of days after January 1st. p is the price of the gold in hundreds of dollars, which is going to be important. So let's see what I've decided to ask us here. We're going to determine the price on January 4th. All right. So the price is a y value. Okay. The y is always on the left of the equal sign, and then these are our x values. When you're finding a y value, you can use trace on your calculator, which I've showed you one example of, and I'll show you another one now. You can always just pop the number into the equation. Okay, but I think trace is usually a better bet because you're going to have to input the equation into your calculator anyway for some of the other questions I'm going to ask you. Okay, so let's uh, bring this up. Okay, so I have my calculator here. Press Y equals, and now I've got to input that equation. Okay, so it's going to be 0 0.05. I don't ask it to put T, the X button. That's got to be cubed. There's no cubed button. You just hit exponent 3. Okay. And I'll input the rest kind of quickly here. So that's what it should look like. All right. My window settings are back to default. Let's see what this graph looks like. All right. So I can kind of see what's going on. Uh, I don't care about anything negative time because it's just saying that this is modeled after January 1st. Okay, we want to find the price on January 4th. Okay, so what's that value of t? Well, it says t is the days after January 1st. I think you'll agree. January 4th is three days after January 1st. So, like January 1st would be t equals zero, and then you add one each time. So, January 4th is t equals three. Which means if you want to input things into the equation manually, you'd put in 3, multiply, subtract, add, all that. Or, on our calculator, just hit trace, type in x equals 3, just hit 3, and then enter. There's our answer, 5.45. Okay, but that's in hundreds of dollars. Five point four five hundred dollars. Well, that's five hundred and forty-five dollars. Okay. Let's see what else I've asked. Let's find the day when the price hit a thousand bucks. Okay. So we're finding an X value. This is going to be something that you use a lot. I'm gonna put stars around this. So check out this example and make sure you can do it. So when finding an x value, you use something called an intersect. I'm going to show you exactly how to do it, and we're going to do lots of questions involving intersects. Okay. Now, a thousand dollars, that's an x value. Or sorry, that's a y value, but we're finding the day, which is an x value. What I want to point out though is p's in hundreds of dollars, you have to divide this by hundred. This is saying that P equals 10. You guys agree with that? So 10 hundred is a thousand. So we're finding the value of T or X when P equals 10. So when I look at my graph, where does this graph hit 10? Well, I'm going to change the window so I have an easier time looking at this. I definitely don't care about negative values of x. Looks like it was getting pretty high. I'm going to leave that. I don't care about negative values of y either. I'm looking for when y equals 10, so I want to go a bit higher than that. I'll make it 15. Let's see what this graph looks like now. Okay, so the price of gold it was pretty flat. Now it's going up, 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 up. We want to find out the x value when y equals 10. Okay, here's how you do it. To do an intersect, go back into y equals and go down to y2. Make y2 equal what you're looking for. 
in this case 10. That's going to make a flat line. So this line is now where the price is a thousand bucks. When the curve intersects with that, it'll tell us what day that happened. Here's how you do it. Okay. I'm just slowing down because this is a big moment here. You've got to learn how to do this. You've got to be able to do this because we're going to do it a whole bunch. So it's in the calc menu. Second trace brings you this calc. Number five is intersect. Okay, choose that one. It says first curve. And again, you can move that cursor around. Some people like to move it close. It doesn't really matter unless there's more than one intersection. Second curve, I put it over there. Guess. You need to enter again or you can move it close to where they intersect. Let's see what we get. So we're looking for this x value. 5.8. That'll round to an 8, which doesn't really matter. What we got was t equals 5.88. Okay. That is days after January 1st. All right. So when would that be? I think that's going to be late in the day of January 6th. Or you could even say January 7th. 